Welcome back to the Peace Security Channel, guys, and everyone else. Well, this is ESET Smart Security 6. It has been released finally after a really long, you know, beta stage and release candidate stage. Their interface is still unchanged from the last time that I saw it. All the components are still there. We've got the hips, the gamer mode, and all the other awesome stuff that ESET comes with. Now, something really interesting about the hips is that uh, they still haven't changed anything. It's the same as in version 5. If we go into tools, um, we can see this ESET Live Grid thing that just tells you about all the process, the equivalent of Process Explorer or Kill Switch, and uh, it works with ESET Live Grid or their cloud. So, oh, I don't think they call it Live Grid. I think they call it Threat Sense now. Yeah. So this is quite decent, but one complaint I have about that is that it uh, doesn't really let you to stop or block any process, so it's just to see. All you can do is just see. Not much useful. But uh, we can go into the advanced setup. If you're a power user, you can do this, and it gives you a pretty detailed you know, interface, and you can find out almost everything inside it, and uh, well, we can see tons of stuff in here about the antivirus and uh, you know, there's a lot of things to play around with. I'll basically concentrate on the HIPS part. Now, what's interesting about HIPS is that uh, they don't have any rules in here. So first time when I saw it, I was like, hey, it's it's just a gimmick. It's It's not doing anything. It's just going to allow it's going first check the rules and allow and the only rules inside this is uh, just to allow stuff so it's not going to block anything at all and if you do set it to some of the other modes um, it's pretty much going to either put you in a lockdown mode where you can't really do much nobody can do anything not good programs not malware not anything which I don't think makes a lot of sense because uh, unless you give your computer to two-year-olds and if you do that you're probably gonna get it back in like four pieces so it doesn't really matter if you know it's infected or not but Isa told me that there are some rules and they're hidden so you can't see them but they are there now let's take a look at uh, how much RAM it's using well looks like it's uh, oh well it's about 100 megs surely it's loading all its signatures into memory and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it uh, doesn't really affect the computer much. Uh, people who've used this will tell you that even if you've got Charles Babbage's old machine instead of a CPU, it's still going to work with ESET. So that's not a cause of concern. I still need to find out how this HIPS thing works. ESET told me that they have got rules they are just hidden, so you can't see them, but... I don't know how good those rules are. So let's get started. The first one's cut pretty easily by the web blocking so um, pretty simple stuff here ESET has got really nice notification system now you can close all messages so that's kind of neat and uh, well let's proceed to the next one these are all fresh uh, zero day malware so let's see who wins here this one got past the web blocking but then you go uh, it's found uh, a potential threat. I can disconnect and just stop it from being downloaded. And that's the end of that, hopefully. No, I think it's still going to ask me. Yep. Now I have to clean it from my computer and it's going to ask me to reboot. Yeah, that's not neat. But anyway, not a big problem anyway, so let's proceed. Next link. Again, pass the web filter. Has ESET got signatures for this one? Yes, once again. ESET have awesome signatures. That's why they're quite popular. They've got all the Fires Bolton Awards. They were record for that. So, not really challenging them. Their signatures. What I want to see basically is that, uh, you know, how well they handle unknown malware. So this is again cut by the signatures. Uh, so far, ESET hasn't had to really do much. It's just the signatures are in RAM. You find something, you just block it. So 
So another piece of malware here. Again, past the web shield. Now this is something new that I'm seeing. More and more malware is making it through the web shield and not to the not through the offline signatures. So it looks like they've added more offline signatures. And you know, that looks a little bit different from the way it was in version 5 because that time it used to be the web filter more than the offline signatures so it's quite interesting of course these are all like uh, pretty low detection rate malware it's not play stuff that everybody can detect so I'm quite happy that ESIT has blocked so many links There's one more and one more catch for the offline signatures. So far it's uh you know pretty much ESA's victory here. This one might be dead in fact, so let me try it another one while this is loading. Let's see if this one downloads. Not quite, looks like this one server might be down. So that's dead as well. Doesn't matter. I think we've got enough already. It's one more here. This one should work out. And this is a compressed file. So got past the web blocker. And doesn't seem to be detected on download. So I'll have to extract it first. In fact, we might get a chance, I have a feeling we might get a chance to check out ESIT's defense against unknown malware. Doesn't look like this one's in the signatures. I'll extract it. Still nothing from ESET. Pretty clearly this one is not blacklisted. So let's see what it can do with this one. wants administrator privileges, I'll give it that. And trouble. No. That's quite neat. Looks like it didn't actually get the um, malware that ran, but some important stuff that it was trying to drop in my system files was indeed cut, so this one might have failed to do its job. Let's check ESET's uh, you know, process monitor and see what that comes up with. Nothing here. Actually, I might have to do a scan with Hitman Pro to really find out if ESET entirely blocked it or if there's still something that was executed successfully. So it's Hitman Pro time, guys. I'll delete these. Uh, folders and yippee hitman pro didn't find anything so that's good news for ESET oh no so many malware got destroyed so sad now let me grab some more and let's see if ESET can handle them in large numbers right now they're just like one by one and now I'll have a full army of malware marching towards uh, ESET let's see how it handles that so I'll disable it first to make sure my army gets in position. I mean these windows they're supposed to add more security for me they're just an annoyance. Okay here we have the army of malware 685 items in there I guess. That's quite some malware and these files range from about about seven days old to just about one day old so some pretty good variety of malware in here and uh, 
but the detection rate expected is going to be high because I'm pretty sure you know these are like high detection rate files so uh, before we start let me tell you 85 plus decent 90 plus good 95 plus is excellent so let's see in which category he said comes he said ends up so let the battle commence He said scan speeds are quite fast so it can deal with the malware I mean I'm I'm fairly happy with the scan speeds because it's scanning and removing the malware at the same time which is pretty good because some security suites they just first scan and then remove for me this is a better process that you just remove the malware when you find it saves you time and uh, stops the malware from doing something maybe more malicious that it might have done in some cases can be handy where the malware is like you know active in the system you know even two minutes can save you so I'm just fa fast forwarding through the scan because nobody wants to see the battle they just want to see the results so we're nearing the end here So he said still wants me to decide the fate of these uh, malware. I'm going to show no mercy. Everybody's going to die. So I'm going to select uh, delete on all of these. But this is something bad. It can't select all and just do one action. You have to do it one by one. And that can be annoying. But then again, nobody's going to like bring 600 malware and scan them. That's just, I, I do it because I'm stupid. I'm not stupid, I'm just testing, so I guess there's not so many people that test, so ESA don't really take that into consideration when they make their product. So let's complete this and let's see who survived. So ESA's done its job, we've got a full red screen. Now let's see if anybody made it through. 18 of uh, our malware friends did. Uh, that's in fact a pretty, pretty bad number for the malware. I mean, so few of them survived, and that's a detection rate of 97 point some percent for ESET, and that's really awesome. So it falls into under the excellent category. I'll have to admit that, and I'm quite impressed because uh, this is fantastic detection rate even for these files it's just great so no complaints about this at all yeah I mean it exceeded my expectations so now I will turn all the shields back on the malware is quite happy they said oh he said doesn't have a signature for us you know we are going to destroy it but I'll lay he said in this battle I will you know give some additional swords and bullets whatnot so let me just uh, take the security a little bit higher here I think I will go under real time and I'm going to change some threats and settings now the only thing I'll do is I'll enable the DNA scan or the advanced heuristics and I will turn it to strict cleaning so make sure no one survives so that's basically it no more settings changed throughout the test everything else was set a default is the only change that I did so let's see what this uh, malware can do trying to like use this like kill switch and maybe look at the running process but I don't think that's gonna work very well because it doesn't seem to refresh by itself so here goes number one malware it didn't quite work out here's number three and uh oh that's not good news the malware has changed uh, user account control settings and I need to reboot to get rid of it now this is terrible stuff you said should have blocked that 
quite clearly. I, I can't see it here probably because I have to refresh to see it, which is not good. And the malware is just like ruining the system right now. You said can't do anything. That's sad. So opening it again might refresh that. They do have, I think, a refresh button on the top. Now we have some unknown process, but now what can I do? I, I don't have like a right click or something. Really, there are no options to terminate these process. So even if I see them and I know that they're not safe, I cannot help it. He said just doesn't give me any option. They says no can't do it unless we tell you to which is uh, pretty stupid in my opinion you should give uh, the user an option to terminate process otherwise what's the point of showing all this now, it looks like this thing's totally gotten through Windows Explorer now this is bad now, I can't even open a folder I don't know what the hidden rules are but they're just hidden to the malware they're just like hidden from everything they're not doing anything right now and quite clearly I can't even open Windows Explorer now that's that's a problem that's a serious problem so you know what time it is it's Hitman Pro time so I'll reboot and I'll be back with the results I'll run CCleaner first I did the reboot so don't confuse that the malware didn't do it I'm just like doing the narration after the video so all that stuff so now it's a good news uh, we have here. He said has started up successfully, so the malware didn't disable it. That's good news, I guess, at least kind of. Now something's active in memory here, quite clearly, and he said probably will let me terminate it even if I want to. So I'll have to use uh, Task Manager. Okay, it's right here. So that's the end of that. I hope I can delete the folder now. Yes, I can. So let's evaluate ESA. Let's see what it missed. And the judge is Hitman Pro as usual. So quite clearly it's found three things and they're all system infections now that is bad system infections aren't good and uh, there's one in Internet Explorer helper so when you op launch Internet Explorer that might cause problems so quite clearly this is not great I mean it did very well in the signature based part but the hips but three pieces of malware that kind of like suggests that maybe the hips did do some off the scenes blocking but I, I don't know I mean it's still infected and the malware did emerge victorious in the end so well that kind of like suggests you'll have to run something along with these at smart security if you do buy it it's uh, not you know my highest recommended product right now probably be second choice for me I mean second line of choice so well but lucky for you guys, uh, this is a paid product, but you can get it for free. That's right, you can get it for free. He said gave me three licenses to give away to you people. So all you have to do is I'm going to put uh, the email on the screen right now. You have to mail me here and you have to tell me a combination of products that's going to you know give you really good security with these at smart security 6 and the best combination that I get wins now the combination must be light and it must be affordable and it can have as many products but as I said light and affordable and high security it should fill in the gaps of ESET and not produce more so thank you guys for watching and let the emails flow